Please, you're cracking me up. I'm just but you look it. good. But that's a fact. <laughs> Hi, Chinedu. How are you? I'm good. good. Where are you headed? I want to go and get something. Without your bracelet. Oh. Oh. I forgot. You forgot. It's a mistake. Mistake. You call that mistake? Yeah, sorry. Really? Uh, Must we'll we wear those bracelets all the time? <laughs> you know what? I'm glad that I have a sister like you. So because you have a sister like me, you now have to always forget your bracelet? Because I know you will always remind me Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> Isn't bracelet supposed to be ladies' thing? Ladies' thing? <laughs> Why did you say so? Yeah, because your brother is very particular about those bracelets. In fact, today is the first day I see him not wearing them. Well, if you must know, that is an ancient gift from my grandfather to him. It is more than just a bracelet. Are you serious? Yes. That bracelet is indispensable. He doesn't joke with it. You know, this is one scary thing about all these ancient gifts. You practically sound like his life depends on it. Well, that tiny thing you see him wear all the time possesses a mystic power. My brother can see your future through your eyes. Really? Uh, are you serious? Are you didn't bother to tell me all this why? <laughs> Girlfriend, I need someone to see my future. Honestly, I need help. Oh, Please. really? <laughs> then today is a lucky day. Just go meet him when he's back. I believe he's going to tell you everything you need to know about your future. But don't tell him that I told you about it. Why? You know, my brother has become a powerful seer for a very long time now. But we don't want it to be public. So please, do not tell him I told you about it. You have to keep it discreet. Oh, okay. No problem. My lips are sealed already. If I forever. I am waiting for him to come back. <laughs> <sighs>
Hello, Pipito. Hey, Amanda the Amanda. <laughs> How are you? Uh, yeah, I am fine. I hope you're good too. Okay, but I just sent you something on WhatsApp. Hmm? WhatsApp? Yeah. I need you to check it immediately. Oh, okay, I will do that later. I'm driving right now. Okay, all right. Goodbye. Well, well, I like to think so because I know that this is the beginning of my financial freedom. Well, of course. <laughs> you see, as you have willingly and in faith given the man of God what he wants, okay, so would your own faith be big enough to get whatever you want? Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, I like to ask. Yes. Who owns the bracelets in your drawer? I thought I specifically, specifically gave you instructions not to touch any of my things. Yeah, I, I, I didn't touch it. No, no, I, I didn't. I, I only opened the drawer and I saw it there. I, I didn't touch it. You didn't touch it? Yes. Does the bracelet remind you of anything? No, not at all. I I only ask out of curiosity. That's all. I'm sorry. You only know me as a man of God. Yeah. And as a pastor. But you don't know what I'm capable of doing. Mm. I know a liar when I see one physically and spiritually. So right now I'm going to ask you again in truth and in faith in front of me looking at me you will tell me what you know what do those bracelets remind you of uh, um so sorry i i used to know of one chinedu who was murdered in his town he, he, he used to wear bracelets that look like the ones in your drawer I, I, it was believed his mother has murdered him because of the bracelets they had to cut off his arm to get it. I'm sorry. They cut off his arm? Yes. And why would anybody want to cut off his arm? Uh, because it, it, it was a gift from his grandfather. The sister told me he had become a, a great seer through the bracelet. I, I've seen him wear it several times and it looks exactly like the ones in your drawer. I'm sorry, honestly, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. Yes. You see, you, you, you got me startled, okay? I mean, you got me uneasy. And I thought you had a problem, you know, so I needed to ask questions. <laughs> I know, I, I know you're angry with me right now. Honestly, I am sorry. No. I'm sorry, honestly. No, no, no. I'm, sorry. I'm not angry. No, 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 no. You're not. Over that. The only thing is, I, I, I just don't like being, you know, in a position where I'm floating, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> so, come here, my dear. <clears throat> you know you're my baby, right? Yeah, I know. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, I'll take care of you. Now, last night, you were so exceptionally sweet. And this morning, this man of God wants to get greedy mm -hmm. by letting that process happen again oh. before cutting you your big check. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes. So speaking of sweetness, you come here. Come here, my baby. Mm -hmm. oh, no. John no. 7 4. For no man will do anything in secret. And he himself will want to be known. For no man will do anything in secret. He himself will want to be known. 
John. Seven. Four. How is this possible? How can this bracelet be with a pastor? Let me call Amanda. Amanda, where are you? Answer your call. Amanda, is she, she, is she around? Mm, no, she's not around. She's not around. Um, I guess you have to call her. I've been trying to call her. She just called me a few minutes ago and I've been calling. She's not, she's not taking her call. She's not answering. I don't know. That's all I know you can do. Please, when was the last time you saw her? Oh, it's been two days now. You, you mean she hasn't been home? No, I've not seen her. And please, you have to stop disturbing the neighborhood with your knocking. Okay? Thank you. Bye. Look, um, yeah, like I said, I cannot make it to you anymore. Um, something came up. Exactly. Something came up and um, you, no, nothing I can't handle. But, but please, if you have any problems whatsoever, just let me know. I'm a phone call away, okay? All right. I'm a phone call away, like I said. All right, darling. God bless you. sounded like someone who is under pressure. She called and suddenly dropped the call. And now she's not taking her calls. I hope she's fine. I hope she's okay. sense if I report to the police.
but it's now up to 24 hours. Oh no. Where could she be? Where could she be? Yes, um, let's the next person in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, honorable. Honorable, please sit down, sit down. Thank you, yes, Pastor yes, Dan. Yes, yes, you're welcome. How is your wife? She's fine. I saw her in church. It's been some time, I think about three Sundays ago. Yeah. Yes, yes, I hope she's okay. She's Everything is fine. Yes, and your son awesome. should be glad by now. Yeah. Oh, good. good. The Amen. good works of the Lord. Amen. 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 So, so, so tell me, because I understand this is your busy time as politicians. So, what would the ever busy, honorable, uh, supporting our definitely uh, you know, next coming governor? What would they be doing here at this point in time in my, in my church and office? Yes. I'm overwhelmed with joy. Hallelujah. You know? Everything happened exactly the way you told me they would. Mm, mm. Yes, yes. You see, it would be dangerous for you to disobey the man of God. For you to disobey a man with the anointing of God. Indeed. Isaiah 119 says, if you're willing and obedient, you will eat of the good of the Lord. It is there in the Bible. It cannot be disputed. I'm a Amen. Um, you see, I bless God for blessing us with a prophet like you. Hallelujah. Uh, so that is um, um Pastor Dan, mm -hmm. take this. This is just a little token to show my appreciation and gratitude for the works of the Lord in my life and family. Uh, yeah? This good work must continue. Ten million naira. Just the beginning. Ten mil after everything you have done. I mean, you helped us complete the Sunday school. You helped us complete the orphanage. The church of... And, and, and ten mil... Oh, my God. Pastor Dam, this is just the beginning. Oh, and I say to you, for you have given unto God, God will give you bountifully. Amen. The manna of heaven will never, ever escape you. Amen. As a servant of the Most High God, I speak this into your life. It is well, it is done. Amen. Keep on doing the good work of God. Amen. 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 Uh, Pastor Dan, I have to take my leave. You um, 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 please, 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 please. Please. Hold my hand. Hear me, O Israel, our Lord is God, our Lord is one. Blessed is this man, blessed is this man. Honorable, Tony, Tony, Tony Udenze is, 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 is the boy you're sponsoring? Yes. For local government channel? Yes. Ah. He will win. Ah, hallelujah. But he will betray you in two years. Honorable? Pastor Dan. <sighs> yes. The governor will win again. And you, you go back to the house. Yes. 
but you shall jump the House of Representatives. From the House of Assembly, I see you sit. I see you as the future Senate President. Hallelujah. Ah! I see you as the future Senate President. Hallelujah! The future Senate President. Hallelujah! I see you representing your good people in the Senate. Amen. Amen. It is done. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. Amen. It is well. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Pastor Dan. Congratulations. Pastor Dan, congratulations. You see, if these things happen the way you just told me, I will not tell you what it I will do. It is done. I have spoken prophetic. Amen. It I'll is not done. Tell you what I'll do. But please, Tony Udenze, we have to pray. Yes. We have to pray. Yes. I will not tell you what I will Go do. Go into your vision. Thank you very much, Pastor Dan. Hey, Amen. The Lord is good. All the time. Ah. All, All the, the time. Lord. All the time. Lord. Our Lord is good. All the time. Yeah, this is your smoke every time. Easy. <laughs> that are sweet, Abby. That smoke. The joy. Abby, the joy. Allow the thing to go down. The joy of the book. The craze. <laughs> are you like, I'm trying to digest what you just said earlier mm -hmm. about Amanda. Yes. You mean that since she left that evening? Two days now. It's two, now two that days now. Yes. Back. Uh -huh. The matter tire me. You even get time to be talk of me. You tire me. Because I don't even knock for that door. I don't knock tire. No. If no. I, I even apart see, from knocking, did you check the window? The I window. go that window. I go that window. Go look. Nobody there inside that room. See, the point, the problem now, you see, I don't even try and run by now. I run by now they go. I run by now they go. No way to contact her, no way. No communication. You know, get. This is now. I don't know whether this girl, if you say, if you say this girl, don't go tired. But they go that side. I know they're this level. She's, She's not too young for that. I know. Never, 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 never. Never. Huh? Never. You think get a CBO? My brother, this point, this story now, this point is not a good one. In my own suggestion, like I'm trying to suggest, I'm not telling you as the landlord, yes. but as a good neighbor. Yes. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know better, we we'll just go to police station and report. Ah! Mm -mm. Hey. Police! No go there. What did they talk now? Police. A clip. You know that's the matter they be. If you go there now, they go turn off our head. No. no. They go put off our head. My guy, my guy, wait. Do you know the big capitan? This as bold capital letter question will be. Did you report? I know. Did you report? I'm just telling you this. This is our neighbor. See my door. Our door. Mm -hmm. Her door. Mm -hmm. And she's missing two days. Number is not going. And her friend, you remember, you told me that her yes, friend. Yes, yes, yes. I, yes I, a few I, minutes I, ago. I told you that. Yes. Then what are you now talking? I don't reason this the way you talk. You know, say this is your will, they give you inspiration where well, well. <laughs> my guy, <laughs> my guy, oh, where, where? <laughs> more reason the police the matter. Only more they say for only good talk where not. More they say for I swear that. What other confirmation do you possibly need? I mean, you and I know that the bracelet on that picture is for your late brother. All my efforts to reach her has been futile. Even the number which she used in reaching me is currently switched off. I've been to her house more than three times now and she's not there. Are you serious? This doesn't sound good at all. I even met with her neighbors. And, and they said they haven't seen her for the past two days. 
Inspector Madi. Sir. The case we have at hand now is a serious issue. We have an opportunity to resolve an unresolved murder case. So, who do you think is suitable to handle the investigation? Sir, based on the personnel we have here, I suggest that Inspector Jen will handle the operation. Inspector Jen? Yeah. Why Inspector Jen? Don't you remember she was the one that handled the murder case of a young man killed by Asylant, whose wrist was cut off? So she didn't make any hair wear then? Yes, sir. I know. But the new information we have here is connected to the old one. This is an opportunity for Inspector Jen to resolve the unresolved murder case. That's why I'm suggesting that we give her the opportunity to go ahead. I was thinking you would want to handle this case. Why? 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 Jen? She didn't make any headway then. So you are the one to handle this case now, sir. I will do as you said. I will support Inspector Jen and her team from the background. But please. Let Jen lead the operation, please. Officer, it's on record that you were the one that investigated my brother's murder case. How am I sure that you're going to do better on this case? I am more interested in what's transpired between you and your friend. I mean the phone call. Amanda called me and said I should check my WhatsApp message, which I did. And then I saw the picture. I believe that the people who killed my brother only wanted the bracelet. And that is the same bracelet Amanda found. And now Amanda is nowhere to be found. She's nowhere to be found. I am still very angry with myself for not being able to resolve your brother's mother. And bring those criminals to justice. Are you confirming to me that this is the same bracelet that was taken from your brother? Yes. I am very sure of that. That's the bracelet. Officer, we feel there's a way you can find out where she was when she made that call. I mean, we might not be able to trace the WhatsApp, but she called Perpetua here and asked her to check her phone. That call can be traced. And we also need to know why her number is not reachable again. Tell me. At what point did her phone stop ringing? When I checked the picture she sent me on WhatsApp, you know, after that, I started calling. I called and called and called, but she didn't pick. And up to date, her number has been off. Oh. Um, aside from her neighbors, have you guys tried reaching out to any of her family members or her other friends? Like we earlier said, Amanda doesn't keep much friends. Yes. Because of the kind of lifestyle that she's living. But yes, I, I tried reaching out. I called one of her family members that I'm close to and she confirmed that she hasn't heard or seen Amanda. From what I feel, it's a serious case. I mean, why would they allow a woman head investigation? I don't get your argument. Are you already undermining her ability simply because she's a woman? That is not what I'm saying. But this is the exact woman who investigated the death case of my brother. How did it go? We both know how it went. So how am I sure that this case won't just die off like that? See, let's give her the chance to do her work. These are two different scenarios. 
She didn't do well the last time. Doesn't mean she won't do well this time around. Let's just allow her to do her work, please. I'm tired. I hope she does a good job. She will. Yes, sir. Andrew, how are you today? Fine, sir. A police detective by the name Jane is presently handling a case, and she has solicited our help. We have always assisted the police in a lot of their investigations, which you know is part of our civic responsibilities. What kind of help are they demanding this time? On the 11th of March, precisely by 9 a.m., this very number received a call from this. And the police wants to know exactly where that call was made. How soon do they want this information? Oh, faster than immediately. You see, as a matter of fact, the person that made that call has been confirmed missing, and the police believes she might be in danger. Say she. All right, so as you can see, it demands an urgent attention. I'm on it, sir. All right, Andrew. Thank you. My brother, when I was a baby in the Lord. Just like you, when I started being in the vineyard of the Lord, I was confused. I was struggling. I was floating. I was silly. And you know why I said I was silly? questions and I was angry and silly <laughs> angry and silly I was angry at God I would ask God is this your plan for me did you call me into this ministry to suffer did you call me into this ministry for this not to enjoy the goodness of earth from heaven. I was angry at God. Sometimes I would go nude in the middle of the night. I will put a seat and I will say, God, leave whatever you are doing and come and attend to me. But today, all oh, that is history. Because our God has shown his face. He has shown himself. He has shown his grace in my life. Hallelujah. Pastor Dan, you don't need to tell me. Hallelujah. I am not blind. I can see. And that is why I am here. Your testimony is amazing. From a pastor Dan who was struggling to pay his rent in one room apartment mm. to a pastor Dan who now has a church facility that sits on hectares of land. Come on, pastor. I am happy for you. Glory, glory, glory to our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our God is good. All the time. My brother, our God is good. Psalm 30 verse 5. Anytime you're down, remember that Psalm 30 verse 5. Weeping may endure through the night, but joy cometh in the morning. That is the promise of God. And I believe absolutely. Amen. Pastor Dan. I just need you to guide me as a brother. Is there anything you did that attracts blessings? 
that you think I am not doing. I mean, I need to experience the same miracle in my ministry too. My brother, Pastor Ezra, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Pastor Ezra, hold my hands. Pastor Ezra, Pastor Ezra, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? In everything, hold on to God. In your sleep, hold on to God. When you're sleeping, hold on to God. You're walking, hold on to God. Hold on to God. Where is your faith? For the Bible says, faith moveth mountains. At the shout of hallelujah, the walls of Jericho came down. Hold on to God. You were made perfectly in God's image. Hold on to God. And your miracle will come. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. 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 Sometimes, it becomes clear that even the so-called unbelievers are better than us. They open up to themselves on their secrets of sources. That is why you will always see unbelievers smiling to the banks. But a fellow pastor will not say anything to his colleague. I am sure it will be his pleasure if my ministry is shut down. <sighs> A police detective by the name Jane. Could she be the same Jane? So tell me, what's your relationship with him? He's a friend who went to the same secondary school and university. Hmm. I see. So I guess you're also a designer as no. well. I'm a computer engineer. I work for a telecommunication company. Hmm. Okay. Knowing him for that long, I must say that you envied, or should I say, admire the power he wielded with the mystic bracelets. I don't understand what you mean by that. <laughs> you see, I understand. I know what it feels like to have a friend who has been loved and admired by everyone. I need to understand you. What exactly are you driving at? You wanted to be as powerful as he was. And so you went for the bracelet. But in the process, you killed him. Well, maybe not intentional. Isn't it? Look. I don't know what you're talking about. I did not kill my friend. I'm so disappointed that this is what you could come up with. Why would she be the one handling the same case again? Expert. She must be an expert. Oh, no. 
a lot of things are joining in my head. A lot of things like what? Amanda. Yeah. Why we wait for the cab? I have this feeling that you're dying for Chinedu. Can you deny it? <laughs> Why would you say that? Oh, come on. I'm not a baby. I mean, don't allow my small stature to deceive you. I can readily read your mind, and I know you love him. So, what's with the pretense? <laughs> well, <clears throat> you are right. I love Chinedu. And I can do anything for him. But the problem is that he doesn't even look my way. Oh, come on. I mean, it's because of his newfound job as a seer. He's beginning to maintain this pious character that comes with it. But don't you worry. Hmm? I'm going to speak to him on your behalf. But, but please, 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 don't even do that. Why? You will speak to him on my behalf for what? At least I'm trying to make things don't easier for you. Don't even try it, please, please. Don't. Wait. I beg you. Why don't you want me to speak to him? At least it will be easier for you to communicate with him when you see him. Oh. So you want him to think I'm throwing myself at him? Oh. Don't worry. Someday Chinedu is going to notice me. He will come to terms with the fact that I care so much about him. Really? Yes, and I would do anything for him. What none of his family members can do for him, I, Amanda, would do for him. That is deep. And what could that be? Something none of you can do for him. And I ask again, what could that be? Madam, it's none of your business. Really? Please, when is, is the cab getting here? Okay. Well. Jessica, you look lost. What are the things joining in your head? I mean, does it have anything to do with the bracelets or missing Amanda? Could it be that she has been on it since then? Been on what? You're confusing me. Amanda once told me that she could do what even a family member can do for Chinedu. Could it be that she has been on the case of the missing bracelets even after the police abandoned it? Why do you think so? I don't even know. But I think her disappearance coming with the picture of the missing bracelets can't just be a mere coincidence. Don't you think so? Jessica, sincerely, you are still confusing me. Manager, sir, what I have generated is not looking good. What exactly do you mean by that? I have managed to speak with Miss Spector Jane. Yes. And she explained to me that the missing gear was a core gear. Exactly what she said. So, what did you generate that doesn't look good? The call was made from number five, Johnson Close, GROA. Beautiful. Then put up a report that we can submit to the police. That is where the problem is. The address in question is Pastor Dan's Lodge. If the missing gear was a call gear as reported, the question is, what is she doing in a pastor's lodge? I mean, sir, who is Pastor Dan? What are you talking about? No, 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 what are you really saying? What are you saying? I have every reason, every single reason to, 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 to be worried. Every single reason. Ah, I mean, just, just look at Mike and Christopher. Look, look at them. Christopher that, I, I, that turned born again through me. Through me. Look at his ministry. And they just look at my own. Just look, look, look at me here. Um, Pastor Dan, I believe everyone is called for a different purpose. Yeah, and my own calling is what? No, it's my own purpose to fail. My own purpose is to get followers and then lose. I lose more fo fo followers than I gain. I gain eight followers and I lose 13. Is, is, that, is that progress in the ministry of God? Is, 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 is that moving forward in, in God's ministry? Listen, don't get worked up over this. Why wouldn't okay? I get worked up? Why wouldn't I get worked up? Because I know I'm a good preacher. I am good. I've, I've, I've told God what is happening. What is happening? Something, God has to do something, something just has to be done because, because this is not progress. 
This is not progress. This is not progress. Don't, don't look, look at me. Look, look, look at look at where I stay. At my level. Eh? Pastor Dan. Is God Pasha? Pastor Dan. God is not Pasha. We have been through this a whole lot of times. <laughs> you just have to take it easy. Maybe your own time has not come yet. My brother, please, let's talk about something else. <laughs> please, um, what about um, that, uh, your friend, um, Chinedu? The one you said you, uh, um, has one bracelet oh, that oh, he used oh, to predict oh, oh. things for you that, you know, when things get lost, he finds, you know, the one that oh, uh, sees oh, something. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, he has a bracelet. Okay. He has a bracelet that he, his grandfather gave him. Okay. It's like kind of a mystery stuff that he worship. Okay. It. What are you asking about him? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's just that uh, I need to just discuss about something to get me out of this my mood, you know, before I question God, before I blaspheme. Yes. That, that, that's just nothing more. Yes. Please just tell me more about him. That, nothing. That's just, I just need to know. Just tell me more. Uh, yes. So you say he sees. Yes, if, he, if you're looking for something, I remember back then. Yes. You can meet him. Yes. You look at the bracelet and he will tell yes, you. And the bracelet is very powerful. Yeah, very powerful. Oh. Yeah. He can see tomorrow. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Pastor Dan, do you have a hand in this? It seems you remembered something. Can you tell me about it? The missing girl from what I just gathered saw bracelet. And I remember Pastor Dan having interest in the same bracelet. Hmm. Do you know this Pastor Dan close enough? Yes. We used to be neighbors. And he always complained about how poorly his ministry was doing. Could it be he's the one? Look, Andrew, I don't have answers to all that. Just compile all your findings and forward them to the police. They are at the front desk waiting. And I don't think they have all the time. Please. We need to see the owner of this house. He's not around at the moment. I am the housekeeper. When do you think he'll be coming back? I don't always have that information. He can come in any time. What is the name of the owner of this house? You don't know? Then why are you looking for him? His name is Pastor Dan. We only needed that confirmation from you. Is he the owner, yes or no? Yes. Pastor Dan of anointing for the end time ministry. I hope there is no problem, sir. Young lady, put a call across to him and let him know that his attention is urgently needed here. I have never done that before, sir. Listen, my dear. We have a warrant to break into this house. Do you understand? But we don't want to forcefully do that yet. So I'll advise that you put a call through to him now. What's your name? Mabel is my name. Listen, Mabel. We're not going to live here until we search this house. So you see that he comes here or we break into this facility. Call him now! Teach me thy status. That's what the Bible says. You of all people know that. At this hour, I have my private time with my Bible and my God. So why would you be calling me at this time? I have two police officers. A guy and a lady. They say they are looking for you. Two police officers and a man. 
Listen, people. I gave you strict guidelines, okay? Rules when I employed you. Am I wrong or right? I am sorry, sir. It is the police. I couldn't have stopped them. What should I do? You are daft for telling me what you just said right now. I'm sorry, sir. Now listen here, okay? They should leave that place right now, okay? Right now. Nobody searches my place, okay? That is my private lodge, and I'm telling you right now, they must leave. Sir, they have a warrant to search. Mabel! Listen, don't be a fool, okay? Mabel, don't be a fool. Nobody searches the private lodge of Pastor Dan. Johnson, when he's not around, okay? I'm not in town. That's it, I'm not in town, so tell them that. Those are my words, I'm not in town. Make that happen, please. Is he on his way already? I'm sorry, sir. He cannot be able to make it to this place now because he is out of town. Don't be silly. Are you and your boss covering up something? If that was the case, you could have told us that before now. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't always know his whereabouts. He just told me now. Do you know the implication of lying? from being a pastor, what else does your boss do? It's simply a pastor with a prophetic ministry. Can you swear on that oath that that's the only thing that you know that the pastor does? Ma, I do not know anything else. I only know him as a pastor. We understand that he doesn't live here. Yes, he comes here once in a while. When was the last time he was here? Specifically, I can't remember. But it's about seven to ten days ago. Did he come here alone? Ma, is there a problem? 
This is a very private question. And he will not take it lightly with me if he finds out that I am giving such information. I work for this man. And I know my terms of engagement. Listen. I want to assure you that you are safe. As long as this matter is concerned, anything that you say to us, we promise that your boss will never hear of it. Okay? Well, he, he came with a woman. Woman? Interesting. What did she look like? I'm sorry, ma. I can't really see. Because it was late the day they came. I can't describe her. Was it also late when they left? No. I didn't see when she left. Hmm. Instead of wasting time, I can take you guys straight to his office. Yeah. His office, no. That's not where we need to be. This is where we need to be. Unless you, ha you have proof to show to me that the call didn't come from here. Of course he did. Okay, I can call him and indirectly bring him here. How about that? As much as you appreciate your offer of help, you can handle it. Like you said, the warrant permits us to break into the house. Why can't we just break into this house? I mean, Amanda might be somewhere in this house very much in danger. 
Listen, it is more honorable to have power and not use it than abuse the use of power. There is nothing like abuse of power here. The court has already given us the power. Let's break into this house, please. Um, do you mind? Can you let us do our job? Detective Damien, please, can I see you for a minute? I know what I'm saying, hey? Eh? Amanda might be in this house. Eh? She, she might be in danger. I know what I'm saying. Let's break in. Eh, let's allow them to do their job, like they said. Why are they here? Why are they treating me like a common criminal? Does it mean Pastor Dan is into crime or what? Um, you seem to know a lot about this Pastor Dan. He's a friend. We used to live in the same neighborhood. Um, so, so why is he involved in this? What do you know about him? Nothing. Rather than your friend calling me from his house. I'm not so comfortable about this. Everything will be fine. So long as we are able to speak with Amanda, everything will be fine. I'm positive about it. You should be. Detective Jane, I am calling from your house at number five, Johnson Close, GRA. Inspector Jane, um, it's not every day we get to talk to a female inspector, so um, uh, how may I help you? Well, we had your housekeeper put a call to you earlier. She did. Well, I'm not in town, so uh, what uh, actually seems to be the problem? Actually, Pastor Dan, we have a warrant to search your facility. Warrant? Yes. And our warrant empowers us to break into anywhere in the house. If we can prove that the owners of the facility <laughs> well, of course, uh, the police is your friend, definitely. But uh, the truth of the matter is, I do not believe you actually have the intention of uh, breaking or actually searching my property, you know, with me not being around. What are you saying? Give me some time. Besides, uh, you're talking to Pastor Dan Johnson, okay? So uh, give me some time, give me the privilege of finishing everything I'm doing right here. Let me round off and then immediately I'm done, I catch the first flight back to town and then report myself to you, then every other proceeding can take place. All right, um, please just do this for me. God bless you. See you soon. Hello? I hate to feel this way about this self-acclaimed man of God. Something tells me he was lying. I don't like the fact that we left that place. I mean, we should have broken into the house as the warrant gave us the right to do so. That house is under severe surveillance. You have nothing to be worried about. Um, excuse me. 
हेलो यू मस्ट बी चोकिंग राइट Thank you very much for this information. I'll get back to you. Bye. You won't believe it. The pastor was actually in his office when I called him. He picked from his office. That is very suggestive. Listen. It is not in my nature to rough handle a fellow woman. Don't push me into it. I don't know why you would want to rough handle me. I am simply a worker here. I have no access to the rooms. You sound like you know something and you're not willing to let it out. Your boss is in town and you lied to us. I do not have any access to that information, ma'am. He said he was out of town, and that is it. Is that not an incoming call? Pick your call. Hello, sir. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why haven't you been making my calls? Sir. The officers took me with them. They just brought me back. Now listen, okay? You stand a chance of losing your stupid head by letting those scoundrels into my lodge. Okay? Now, you will do this. I hope you're wise enough to have this phone being picked privately. The detectives are here and you are on speaker. <laughs> shit! 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 What kind of, what kind of stupid, stupid, stupid girl is this? Ah! This, this one. Open it. Officers, please. Please, officers. Can you forget about this room? He will kill me if I open it. Please. Listen, neighbor. We do not need your permission to break this door. Do you understand? We just don't want to be brutal. Now, you have the keys to this door, so open the door right now. Hey. He warned me. He in fact, he made me swear to a deadly oath to keep secret of anything I might come across in this lodge. What does that mean? Wait, does it mean your, 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 your boss is into a shitty kind of business? I thought you said he's a pastor and nothing else. Officers, why are you implicating me more and more? I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Shut up! Open this door. Open this door. Open it. Open it. Open it. My goodness. And I'm sure he set his same ablaze. With the structure he has surrounded himself in, we are indeed 
sure that that man is a criminal. From what I gathered, his ministry is not a Pentecostal church. It is one of these ministries that perform miracles. I mean, it's a shame to see the kind of dent these idiots bring to the body of Christ. Cases like this are not rushed. That man is well connected. And he might have people that will be giving him information about what is going on. You mean people that work with you? In cases like this, everyone is a suspect. I feel your pain as family and friends. But please, you need to leave us to handle this. We can handle it. 